What's going on guys? I have got another PSA submission reveal today. The last time that I did one of these videos, I had a ton of fun doing it. And to be honest with you, these are probably some of my favorite videos to watch on YouTube period. I love PSA submission reveals. Um, so this is definitely something that I'm going to continue to do more of in the future. This was a seven card order sent at the normal submission rate. So at the time, this was 50 bucks a card. Uh, I want to say that it took right around four months, but I would have to uh, I would have to do some checking on that. And I'm going to leave the exact details down in the description. But I, I want to say without looking again, that it was right around four months from the time that I shipped them out until the time that I got them back. And, you know, considering that the only level now is 300 a card, $50 a card for four months is is really not bad. Um, so just a little context behind this order. This was sent right after the last PSA submission reveal video that I did, which was an express order. So this was sent probably within a week after that order. These are the cards that I didn't really feel comfortable sending at the $75 level, but I thought at $50, there was still a lot of room there. So uh, these are the cards that I wasn't super confident I would get all gems, and I definitely didn't, um, but I still thought that they were pretty good looking cards, if that makes sense. So let's go ahead and get into it. Um, I don't like to talk too long before we get into what you guys are here for, so let's go ahead and get right into it. This is a uh, base prism. Jalen Hurts. I thought this one looked pretty good. The only thing, the centering on the back is is way off. And that's the reason why I didn't put it in the express submission. I, I saved it for the normal. Um, but the centering on the front looked pretty good. I thought everything else checked out. This did get a nine. Um, you know, on, on further review of this card, it, it's probably a little off center left to right. So I, I think that a, a nine is definitely warranted. And like I said, the back is way off center. So I definitely wasn't going to send this express but I did think that it was in good enough condition to uh, to send normal. So got a nine on the Jalen Hurts. Here is a base prism Tua, and this one got a nine too. So I can't remember. I just I think they're grading these these prism cards pretty harshly. Um, you know, left to right centering looks pretty good on this one. Top to bottom does as well. And then back here, typically you'll see some whitening on these corners back here. They're team color match. I don't really see anything there either. So um, I do think that they are grading these a little harshly, but as you'll see later on the order, you know, it, it really just depends. It, it depends. Uh, so I think it can depend sometimes, you know, who exactly is grading the card, what mood they're in. I, I really think that matters. So I think this one easily could have been a 10, but that's okay. I, I'll definitely take a nine on that one because the payoff does come later on in this order for sure. So this is a red, white, and blue to a, again, same story. The centering on the back, I just didn't think was good enough to send express, but the front looked good enough that, that I was willing to, uh, to give it a chance at the normal level. So there's a look at the front. I think the centering is pretty good there. Um, a, a really good looking card. I, I love these red, white, and blue. So this one did get a nine. So the third nine in a row to start this order, I promise it gets better. Um, so this is the laser prism uh, Joe Burrow. This one, I love this card because it's color matched to the team. I just, I think it's a great looking card. Now, a little bit of context behind this one. You'll see probably right away, the top to bottom centering is just, it's bad. It is not good. It's way off, um, which, you know, led me to believe oh, I'll just sell this card raw. Well, I was looking it over again and the left to right centering I thought was perfect. There was nothing wrong with the surface. Um, on the back, Everything checked out, two sharp corners all around. So I said, hey, I'll send it in with the normal level. And I got a nine. Um, not, not, not all nines in a PSA order are created equal because I was thrilled to see a nine with this card. The centering top to bottom is just, it's wild. Uh, but again, I thought everything else checked out. So I was willing to send it in at that normal level. And I was really, really happy with a nine, like genuinely happy uh, because I thought that that was just, with the centering on the front, that was the best grade I could hope for. And a nine's pretty good, you know, spent, got this out of a pack um, and spent 50 bucks to grade it. So a nine is, is definitely not bad. All right. So now we're going to get into some of the better cards in the order. This was definitely the biggest card of the order. Now I mentioned earlier that some of those cards I sent in at the normal level because the centering on the back was off. Well, this one was no different. If, if you look right there, you can tell by these lines. The centering on the back is pretty off, but I thought it looked good in just about every other way. And this one got a 10. Um, 
if, for my money, I think it's a little off center top to bottom, but you know, like I said, it, it really is grading is a subject subjective thing. Uh, and I was just over the moon to get this back in a 10 because it's definitely the biggest card in the order. This is the, um, photo variation, negative black and white, whatever you want to call it. Panini just labels it as, as short print. Um, but another Joe Burrow PS prism PSA 10 to go along with the one that I have there in the back. Um, so I was really, really happy to get this back in a 10. Now the next two cards are interesting. So these are both out of the hoops premium stock set. I did not think that this card would gem. So this card did get a 10. This is the tribute. I'm trying to hold that at an angle. So, you know, the reflection isn't in the way, but this is the um, tribute silver mojo prism Zion Williamson, a really cool card that that pattern. If the camera is doing it justice is, is really, really cool. Interesting little fact about this card. This is a pop five right now. Now I'm sure that will go up. Um, but a pop five card right now in hand, that's, that's pretty cool. A pop five Zion card, strange picture. Um, again, I didn't think that this would get a 10 because of the centering left to right. Now, maybe that's the way that these tribute cards are supposed to look. And I just am not hip to that, but I figured with the centering left to right, I, I mean, I, I figured I was looking at a nine, um, but I just, I thought that the card looked good basically in every other way. So I was going to send it in anyway ends up being a 10. So like I said, the start of the order was a little slow with the nines, uh, but it definitely picks up towards the end. This is a card that, this is a courtside silver, Luca. This one also got a 10. I really like this card. I think it's very, very cool. Uh, actually had this one sold on eBay and and the, the buyer ended up not paying and, and I'm happy that he didn't because I sent this in, got it graded and it is a 10. Now this isn't like some crazy Luca card, you know, third year, but it is courtside silver um, and it looked really good. So, you know, I figured I would send it in again, two pop five cards here. So there are five of these cards in a 10 in the world right now. Now, of course, if you know anything about the uh, PSA backlog, those numbers will definitely increase. But right now, these are pot five cards of two of the biggest stars of the game. So I'm, I'm going to take it, you know. So that will do it for this one. These three, definitely the biggest cards of the order. Happy to, uh, to add these to the collection. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions about the whole PSA deal or any questions about any of these cards specifically, let me know. But that's going to do it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.